Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over a simple point and click controller for all your AI and FMesh needs. Before the video starts though, don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. Uh, we've just passed 300 subs which is amazing. The goal is 500 by the end of the year. I really think we can reach it. And also check out our Discord. We're a bunch of chill people who just talk and do game development stuff. Okay, so in my scene here, I've got nothing but a label, which everything is just on a layer I've named ground. You can add a layer by going down here and click add layer and then uh, I usually usually get layer 3 for ground. Um, so everything's just on the same layer. If you go down here, as you can see, everything's on the ground layer. Uh, I've got a navmus agent which has nothing on it apart from just an empty with uh, like a player body and some <laughs> some sick ass glasses. Um, and then I've got a camera and a direction light which you do not need for your scene. Um, I've just got materials in here, and I've got uh, the pre pre prefab of the Navmus agent just in case. Alright, so we're going to start off with the Navmus agent. Let's give him a component, and we're going to give him the Navmus agent component. Let's open it up, and let's check things out. I'm actually going to set the speed to 7, and the angular speed to 360, uh, just because, sake of this tutorial, you don't need to use this. Uh, I'm also just going to turn back on gizmos, and as you can see, the mesh agent actually creates this uh, ring, well not this ring, this uh, cylindrical prism uh, around the character, and that's essentially the bounds of the navmesh agent. Um, we don't actually need a capsule collider on here anymore, uh, nor do we need it on our glasses, as that, that's just going to interfere. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to make sure all our... Uh, terrain and everything is baked into navigation. So we're going to go into the navigation tab. Uh, you can find this window by going in the window. AI navigation. Now your area won't look like this. It'll look like this. However, if we go try bake our navigation so then our uh, player can walk on it, as you can see nothing is happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our level, we're going to go click object, and we're going to click navigation static. We're going to say yes, change children, and it's going to change all these children to be navigation static to be able to work with our navigation. Next, we're going to click on areas, and we're going to make sure that our ground layer is put in uh, user 3, or this could be in uh, user 31 if you want, but it could just be anywhere. Awesome. Next, we're going to set our navigation area to ground. And we're going to go yes, change children, and we're going to bake, and we're going to click bake. And as you can see, it's going to bake the area, and it's going to show up with all these uh, little little bits, uh, which the shaded in parts can be uh, walked on, and the unshaded parts cannot. The uh, ones that don't have this material can look at stuff on it. Now don't worry, that's not actually baked into the material. Uh, as soon as we go off the navigation, it goes away. Uh, it's just to visualize uh, where the uh, uh, player could walk. Cool, now let's make a point and click script to make it walk around. Let's add a component and let's call it point and click. Let's double click this to open up in Visual Studio. And then let's remove the start and update method. As well as indent this, because I like it. Then let's also remove the two system functions and add a unity, not functions, system dependencies and add a new unity engine function called unity engine.ai next we're going to make a public reference to our navmesh agent i'm just going to call it agent next i'm going to go into update and make an if statement and i'm going to get a input of mouse uh, of our mouse button down And I'm just going to make it the zero mouse, uh, meaning that uh, that's just our left click. Cool. We're going to make a new raycast hit, and we're going to call it hit. And we're also going to make a new ray, and we're going to call it ray. And we're going to set it equal to get component of camera dot screen points array screen point. To Ray. <laughs> I need to memorize it myself. And here we're going to input our input dot mouse position. 
cool so what this is going to do is it's going to use uh it's going to use the mouse position on the screen and generate essentially a point uh where a ray is going to a ray cast is going to come out and we're going to set up the ray cast now um and it's def defining a ray right now so it's converting uh the mouse position to a ray essentially next we can go physics dot ray cast and here we're going to raycast our ray and we're going to out our hit our raycast hit which is, which stores raycast data and then we can go agent dot destination is equal to hit and we're going to get the point uh vector three of the uh raycast hit going back into unity oh but I guess oh I spelled my get my spun down with three T's. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is as simple as that. We're gonna make it because we made a reference to our navigation miss agent, we're just gonna drag it in. We're gonna go back to game and we're gonna click play. And let's see what happens. And as you can see, if I click on different spots, our boy, our little boy will go there. He'll He'll make his journey. And even if we click up here, because of the Unity AI, it'll go to the closest spot it can. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.